So hi guys! How are you today? I am Sagal Pita and in today's book review, I will tell you about a book which I did not read really recently but a long time back. But yeah, I never got the opportunity to review it and today I am reviewing it for you. So this book is called Agni Putra and it's written by Vadhan. Now, I have read Vadhan's earlier work also. Um, it was called The Shatru Chronicles and if you want uh, to read the review, I have that in the description box below. So I had read Vadhan's earlier work also and I was pretty impressed by what he had written. But this work is like totally different. He has written really well and he has moved on like he has gone into the league of Ashwin Sanghis and Amish Tripathis of India. I know he's not yet discovered but when he will, he will definitely outdo uh, these guys or be in the same league as them. So this book is really good. Don't ask me what genre this book is of because I actually don't know. I cannot put it into one genre. It's like a, a sci-fi, it's like a historical fiction, it's like a thriller, it's like mythological fiction, a lot of things put into one. But yeah, what I can tell you is that this is definitely a very very lazy thriller. So let me tell you a little bit about the story. So it's the year 1940 and uh, in a place called Gudem, in a small village called Gudem uh, in the Iluru district of Andhra Pradesh, the patriarch of the village is killed uh, very mysteriously and sometime later a tantric enters a samadhi and tries to break free a very demonic and evil kind of um, presence not even a spirit, a presence. Now fast forward to the present day and uh, a ace lawyer, um, a Gurgaon based lawyer called Raghum Ram Surya uh, receives an eviction notice from uh, the government of India for his property in the same village. So there is something going on in, in that village in the present scenario. So being the lawyer, he is not easily fooled and he decides to seek out uh, the truth behind all of this. And when he does, he discovers that there's a lot of political motives and, you know, uh, you know, illegal things going on and really something deep and sinister uh, behind all of this. And uh, as he digs deeper, he realizes what it is. And that's where I stop and I didn't tell you anything beyond this. Uh, another thing which I can tell you is that there's, an, an, um, there's a scientist called Sheila who's actually uh, assigned to study this phenomena which is happening in this village in the present day and uh, somewhere in the story she you know she connects with Raghuram and, and together they decide to find out what it is actually so the story is really really interesting it's very racy it's fast paced it there's so much action in the story that there's no point uh, not even a single dull moment in it so um, so moving on to the review, I'll, I'll tell you something about the plot. So plot, as I already told you, it's really racy, it's fast paced and um, the story frequently switches from past to present to past to present again and that's, that makes it uh, really interesting. And there are a lot of subplots also in the story along with the main plot. So and the story also switches between the main plot and the subplot and the different plots. So that is also a very interesting thing that uh, makes the story further interesting and racy. And uh, moving on to the writing style, the author has a definitely fantastic writing style. He combines, the way he combines all these elements together and puts together a brilliant novel. It's just fantastic. Uh, I don't have any other things to say about it. Uh, moving on to the characters, I definitely liked uh, so many characters in this book. Now, Raghuram Suda is a definite uh, charmer. Um, he is suave, he's handsome and he's like... Uh, really good to read about and so is Sheila she's a very intelligent scientist and um, very nice uh, character also I also like the evil characters of Kiroriman who's the evil politician behind a uh, lot of things going on and um, he's, he's, he's charismatic and he's dynamic and he's evil like really convincingly evil and I also like the character called Pichi Rataya who's a madman but who has a very important role to play in this entire thing so he, he too was a very interesting character moving on to the climax the climax is like really good because uh, usually the books have a very um, very simple climax most of the thrillers that I read are very simple in the climax but this is like a definite page turner you would not not even believe uh, what happens in the end. I had to read the climax twice to understand this what is happening and uh, the climax is very good. I give it like 5 out of 5 stars because because the way uh, the story ends uh, leaves a lot of loopholes 
for which the second book can come in. So whenever uh, you know Vadhan um, decides to write Amniputra two, it will be very easy for him, and it will be very interesting for the reader also. So the reader is not uh, left satisfied. There's a like big question mark there, and um, something will always be at the back of the mind, like what happened, what happened. So that is why I rate the climax like climax five out of five stars. And moving on to the entertainment portion, yeah, this definitely is a five out of five star book. <laughs> Uh, much much recommended from me guys do read this book i'm sure you would love this and you would love my recommendation also and you would have me to thank for and if you like this video and you enjoyed this book review and you also enjoy my other book reviews don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn that notification on you will be notified every time i post a video so guys stay tuned uh keep reading bye bye